Get punched in the face for thinking I'm just a YouTuber. BMG got the city on. Like Curry, that's what none of these niggas are ops. Cause none of these niggas is dirty. What's good, Stella? King, it's your boy Up Class, and you are now tuned into the Realist Reaction channel on the two. I need everyone to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. And today I'm going to be reacting to DOA disowning Dougie B for pushing peace with the G's. So anyway, without any further ado, let's get straight into it and see what's going on, man. What up? This is Swayze, and let's get right into it because it seems like some people are not happy with the new like Peace to Push glitching. movement the that Douglas Bernard Jr. and Lord D-Thing started a few days ago. Now, if you don't remember, Dougie B and D-Thing decided to put their differences to the side, put the guns down and the mics up, and have a performance with them and Cash Cobain. Now, this was a beautiful thing. Everybody was rejoicing, waving their hands in the sky, thanking God that these kids are finally going to stop the Beth. And we were all happy to hear this wonderful news. If you don't remember, let me show you these clips real quick, and I'll be right back. We've been like this forever, Doug. You know what's up with us. Like, Bo, you know come on, Bo. You know we can't fuck. Y'all know, Bo. We been, yo, keep, keep it in stock. We've we been getting it on since, since, since what? Since 14. We 23 now. We've been getting it on since 14. Little little kids, man. Come on now. Come on, come on, come on now. I, I get it on ain't nothing, Matt. A win for me, Matt. Hey. 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 Nigga, this nigga Dougie White be the look is super tight. Damn. This violent shit. Really though, they ain't they on that and all that. Uh, I wanna start some shit. And I'ma stay, I'ma start it right now. If you really on that, all drill rappers, uh uh, we could all let's all link up. Get it. Let's all link up NYC. From Brooklyn, I'm talking about 4-1, D-Thing, me, Shy K, B-Love, Chef G, everybody. We all pop out, link up. You feel me? Serious vibe, you feel me? No, 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 no guns, no violence, you feel me? If a some type of way, we could pull, pull each other aside, get it on. But for me, I want to bring NY all together. I want to have a big NYC Project X. That ass, bro. No funny the vines, let's turn up. I sure he turn around like Dougie Breath Stink. I have a big NYC Project X. See, Not act ass, up. No funny <laughs> the vines, let's turn up. Yeah. What the fuck, Swayze? Where's the audio, my guy? However, it looks like some people are not happy about the Push to Peace movement, which brings us to our subject today, which is Juan Bills. And it looks like he's not with the Push to Peace movement because he took to his stories and he said this, Druggy B, not wrong for one in peace, should have did that when they got that bread, panicking right now. Yo, it's ridiculous though, like, all right, let's say niggas don't want peace and shit, right? With the the ops and niggas is mad that he's pushing peace or whatever. But at the end of the day, that's still y'all man's y'all still all rapping the same shit or whatever. Why is it that you should go on the shit insulting your man's when you could just say, yo, simple and plain, like I don't agree with this nigga. I'm not jacking what he's whatever he's promoting, nigga. I'm not promoting that nigga. F fuck whoever. We ain't got nothing to do with what he promoting. Instead of calling a nigga druggy B and all that other shit, you know what I'm saying? And I had to do all of that shit. That, that wasn't it. Now, y'all wanted to be OGs K, OYK, GDK, never touch a GD, a OY, or OG. Want to be doing clown stuff. Now he want peace. Suck my rock. But the thing about it is like, 
when niggas was doing that, if you was a part of them and you was chilling with them when they was doing that, how come you didn't come out and say, yo, why y'all niggas Crip K? Why y'all niggas OG's K? Why y'all niggas GDK and post a post like that and say the same type of shit? Like, yo, the same way niggas not agreeing with him pushing peace, why niggas don't got the same energy? For when he's promoting beef with people that you know he have no beef with or he's not doing anything to. Why not say it then? Why say it now? It seems like it got some inner circle shit going on. Little fruitcake. Keep shaking your hips. You got no say so. Rip Nas, free boom, free leaky, free fetty. Used to tell y'all, stop all the dissing, cause not all the bros got money. Some still stuck in the hood. UGDK, OG's K, all the way in Cali. Got guys looking for you in the hood and stuff. Just so we clear, I'm from the Ray, I'm not Crip. We not GDK or OG's K. I personally just don't like Nazir or Breezy and Shai K. Other than that, I'm on civilian timing. This whole thing is washed y'all need a bag for perks now he promoting peace and right after the push and peace news came out okay flock went live and people were expecting him to say something about it and this is the clip bro they see y'all clearly Oh, 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 whether you have it, people, it seems like Warren Bills is not with the Push and Peace movement because he feels like it's a little too late. And Douglas Bernard Jr. is only doing this because his career is on a downslide. Now, I'm going to tell it to you just like this. I could totally understand what Warren Bills means when he says, I used to tell y'all to stop dissing because not all the bros got money and some still stuck in the hood. And you all the way in Cali screaming GDK and OG's K. Nah, and then when the ops come I understand the hood looking for y'all, it's the little homies that's still stuck in the hood I that gotta deal but, with those consequences yeah, fact, however call me crazy but i still think the push and peace movement is something that needs to happen that's rather people think that it's trolling rather people think it's a joke or people's gonna pull a back dora the explorer at the end of the day if this is what these kids want to do i think we should support it but pull up in the comment section and let me know how you feel about this situation and if you nah niggas should definitely continue with the push and peace shit I mean, I agree with it and shit like that. Of course, it's always going to have niggas that, you know, might have lost more. They might have lost a relative. So they, they feel it a little bit more or they think they're obligated to, you know, put on more and to say, yo, fuck it. We're not letting it go and shit like that. But those same people are the people that's not putting in work, that's not spinning blocks, that's not... Not saying going to jail is a good thing, but they're not going to jail for the cause of it and none of that shit. They're just on the internet saying, fuck the opposition. They're not doing anything. So it's just continuing drama, basically, for no reasons. Because a lot of these niggas, they're not doing anything to each other. They're just on the internet dissing each other, you feel me? And I'm not saying that they should go out there and do something to each other. I'm just saying like they're doing a lot of internet shit that keeps the drama alive. Real nigga shit, if the internet went out for a year straight, that beef and shit will go away. Because guess what? A lot of niggas ain't going to be doing shit for attention no more. Some niggas go live to argue with other niggas on live because they know that that would get them views. It sends some type, niggas get some type of adrenaline rush whenever they see high numbers on the views and they do it for the views and shit. And I think that shit is corny at the end of the day. Niggas could really sit down one day and say, oh, you know what? I right, yeah, this nigga diss my mans who died. But I, we know for sure that nigga did not kill my mans who died. We know for sure that nigga was, it's not even a part of the gang that killed my mans who died. You know what I'm saying? Certain shit like that is like, yo, bro, we could let that shit go. Nigga just dissing, bro.
Niggas just dissing, bro. A lot of people say disrespectful shit, bro. That don't mean you got to go kill everybody that say something disrespectful, you feel me? Niggas got to be able to let go of their pride sometimes. It's that pride that make niggas lose, you feel me? You're proud to have you in certain areas knowing that you don't belong in those areas. And then you get shot. And then everybody like, oh, yo, he was just minding his business. No, he wasn't because he know he wasn't supposed to be there. He just went there to show people that he could go where he want to go. You know what I'm saying? Your pride, your pride is the reason why a lot of niggas lose. And not only pride, females too, because a lot of niggas be trying to put on, show these females that they're this type of nigga and they with this type of shit and all that shit. And at the end of the day, the, the same females you showing off go fuck the niggas that shoot you. So it's like a lose-lose, you feel me? Certain shit, it's worth let, letting it go. It's worth that shit. Like, let that shit go. I know somebody gonna say, oh, people died over certain shit. Yeah, but if you're in the streets, you know a lot of the people who died and are being this weren't dis weren't killed by the people who dissing them. You feel me? And that's what niggas gotta take into consideration and shit like that. But like 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 I always say, man, hit the comment section with your opinion and all that shit. Let me know what y'all think about this whole shit. You feel me? If you not subscribed to Stella Gang yet, what you waiting for? Come on, join the squad, man. Stella Gang got the city hot. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you notified every time I drop a new video, man. BMG got the city hot. Y'all niggas know what's going on, man.